Hey Udoers! Nowadays, high-quality content is king, as it builds brands, engages audiences and drives business growth. One form of content is blogging. Blogging has three main advantages. First, it allows you to connect with your audience by sharing your expertise and building trust. It also boosts your SEO, or in other words, your ranking on search engines. Google, for example, is very happy with new and relevant content. You can find more info about this in our video about SEO. And finally, content drives engagement, as regularly updated blogs keep visitors coming back for more. That's a lot to take in, I know, but as you might have guessed, Odoo offers several easy-to-use tools that help us write and design blog content in minutes. Let's see this in action. So here I am on my website's blog page, and as you can see, I have several categories available over here. Now, you can modify these categories by going to Configuration and then Blogs. Here we have all of the categories of our blogs. We can remove them by selecting one, then clicking Actions and then just deleting it. Or we can add a new one by clicking on New. Now here we just add the title of our category, for example, Landmarks. Oops, here I have written Landmarks, but like this it's Landmarks. And we can add a blog subtitle if necessary. And then we select uh, on which website we want this category to be shown, in case you have more than one website linked to your Odoo database. Now, uh, I'll save it, and we want to actually create a new blog post, so let's go back to our homepage. All we have to do is click on New over here, and then on Blog Post. It will ask us to select a category, and we will select the one we just created, Landmarks, and to give uh, the article a title. So let's write something about our world-famous, uh, but very tiny, mannequin is. And if I click on Save, now our blog page is created. Now, we have to write some content. So, I can easily write a title, I just leave a mannequin piece, and a sub subtitle. Tiny but brave. And I can change the background image. I just select it here and I go over here to background and click on the camera. I'll select this picture of mannequin piece. And I have various uh, options to customize this image over here. I can also choose how I want the text and the image to be displayed by changing the layout over here. I can, for example, add a sidebar, I can add a breadcrumb so that visitors don't get lost, and I can choose what to display at the bottom of the article, such as suggestions to read other blog articles, or I can add a sec section where readers can leave their comments, which is great for engagement. Now I can start writing my text. If I hit the forward slash key on my keyboard, a menu will appear with all kinds of content I can generate on the spot. Images, tables, videos, you name it. I can even use ChatGPT to generate my article. I just select it, and then I write my request. For example, write a blog article about mannequin piece, and I just hit send. Now, he is thinking about it, he's writing the article, and there you go. So all I have to do is click on insert, and my article is written. Now, of course, I advise you to always check the content. Artificial intelligence is a great tool that can sometimes make our lives easier, but it's not 100% reliable, so it's always best to fine-tune whatever content ChatGPT or any other AI text generator provides you. But let's assume I've checked the content and that everything is right. Now, I'd like to change the layout of the article a little bit. For example, I'd like this text over here to be a title. So I select the text, and I can choose which kind of heading I want it to be over here. So I want it to be a header 2, because I already have a header 1, which is the title over here, and you should never have more than one H1 on your page for SEO purposes. Of course, instead of selecting it and then choosing the heading, I could also have typed forward slash, and then choose, uh, uh, have chosen heading 2 and then just started writing, and it would have been exactly the same. Now, here I have all of my customization tools. I can make the text bold, which it is already. I can make it italic, 
underlined, I can animate it, I can highlight it, and if I click this AI button, for example, if I choose the paragraph and click AI button, it will uh, generate three alternatives to my selected text. Now, if I just insert it, it will replace my existing text. Now, let's say I want to add a picture over here. All I have to do is hit forward slash and then uh, select the image. And it will take me to the menu directly. I will upload a new mannequin piece photo, for example, this one, and there you go. Now, over here, before the conclusion, I would like to add a quote. So, forward slash, and let's select quote, which is here, and I'll just write my quote, which is, mannequin piece is the greatest statue ever, written by yours truly. Now, there are so many other options that you can uh, use with the forward slash uh, key, and I suggest you to try them out. Don't forget, you can always go back by clicking on the little arrow here, or you can just discard everything you did, so don't be afraid to try all of the options. Now, let's save my article, and one last thing I'd like to show you is a building block. So for this, let's go to our main page and edit it. Now, I will choose a block that is called blog, with a G, and if I drag and drop it over here, it will display all my latest blog articles, on which my user can click to easily go to the article they want to read. Now, I can customize this block over here to show what kind of articles I want to show, from which category, I can choose what it looks like, how many articles I want to display, and so on. And there you go. I'll leave you with one last piece of advice. Aim to update your blog at least once a week. First, for SEO purposes. Google loves fresh content and will boost your website's ranking. Second, for credibility. Outdated content is bad for trust. Your audience won't come back to your website anymore if you can't give them up-to-date information. And finally, for engagement. Regular updates attract repeat visitors, fostering a loyal audience. And now you know that Widow Do, creating a thriving blog and establishing yourself as a content authority is within easy reach. That's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.